Wee, super quick one today. Little mailbag. This is pretty cool. This is something I have never had before on the channel. This is an Arduino Mega 2560, essentially, on a tiny board. It's a 2560 Mini running at 16 megahertz on the clock there, 12 over on the far side. It's got CH340 on board for the USB, so we have USB on board. Not breadboard friendly, obviously, because we have our pins stacked up, so you're gonna have to break this out, either with headers or direct wires, but man, oh man, you've got an Arduino Mega in a tiny little form factor. So this is the Pro. Not much beyond what I already said. 79 volt input um, up to peak of 18 volt. That's a little higher than usual. Usually the voltage regulators on the Arduinos I think top out at, eight, at uh, 12 volts. So pretty cool. We're going to give this a try in an upcoming video. One more from Amaze3D. This is my favorite PLA filament. Amaze3D has been supporting me for a little while by sending me uh, the rejected stuff, the returns from Amazon, as well as some brand new rolls. Very, very cool. I've never had a problem with any of it. The returns are awesome, even though people spool off a little bit and use it. it, it I don't know why they send it back, but it always works for me. I, I have no clogs, no issues. I love this PLA. I love the PLA Plus too. So check out Amaze 3D. We're going to try this uh, gray stuff for... Uh, I might print another Iron Man helmet, which you guys haven't even seen the first one. Next up, we got some retro gaming stuff. 168 in one retro gaming unit. This is a wicked little Game Boy setup with a bunch of ROMs on board. And I think these will deserve their own video, as well as I got another one. This is the GB Boy Color. This is a color Game Boy system that plays normal Game Boy cartridges. Throw a comment down below if you ever had a Game Boy. It was my first foray into gaming, but this is the GB Color and what another wicked cheap cheap gaming system that takes the cartridges as well as roms on board and i think it'll get its own video but also we got a bunch of cartridges so these are a bunch of cartridges that i had uh, when i was a kid and i'm replacing them now just to give them a try on the gb boy color Got Radar Mission, this was an awesome game, um, kind of battleship style as well as an undersea thing. Hunt for Red October, along the same lines, pretty cool. Robocop, that was a fun game. F1 Racer, I actually won this from like uh, Lay's Potato Chips or Humpty Dumpty or whatever. Used to get little game pieces in it and lo and behold they did send me one. And Super Mario Land 2. So these are actual cartridges. These are all just sourced used on eBay, uh, all local to me in Canada. As well as for the GB Boy, actually for the other uh, Game Boy system, it has an audio and video output, but it comes out at smaller than 3.5. I think this is 2.5. So I got a 2.5 to 3.5 adapter to see whether I can get the audio to go to headphones. Otherwise, we're going to hack it and put Bluetooth audio in it. Next up out of the box, these look like microcontrollers. Yet another microcontroller I have never had. Well, the micros I have. I believe these should be ESP32s. And they are ESP32 chip on board. Takes an 18650 battery in the back side, break out and everything, power on and off, so we have charging capability from the USB. It has a nifty little OLED on the top of it with our boot button. Uh, very cool. I think these will be a fun little project. They're not, they weren't fair, fairly cheap, but the prices come down quite a bit. And I think these will be handy for some standalone projects. It's just, it's everything you need. If you just need a display and do some basic IO for a sensor or whatever, it's all on one board, power switch, USB charging. Very cool. Grab two of them, of course. Capacitors, just an assortment of caps. Didn't have too many of these and sure enough, I grabbed a couple of different assortments. This is kind of neat. 
it, it they're just marketed as a 450 piece ceramic kit but I like it how they have them laid out where it's easier to find them you pay a premium for these holders versus th like this is just a few dollars on eBay this is a little bit more than a few dollars but for ease of access this is really handy and then what you can do is when you get a little low on one of your bins then you go to your cheapy assortment and fill it back up pretty handy next up the USB-C charge monitor I've never had one for USB-C this is pretty handy I'm thinking for some upcoming MacBook repairs on the channel so I've never had one it's just like a charge doctor or a USB doctor or whatever. Same as you've seen here on the channel before. Should do the trick. Next up, two part. Very simple, just a long HDMI cable. What we're gonna use that for is we're going to build a retro pie game, uh, retro gaming system as well as video streaming to have on my large projector downstairs. I've had one upstairs for quite some time, but I want the 110 inch screen and I wanna be able to play some cool retro games on it. it. Should be fun. This is just a Bluetooth controller right from Amazon. I got another one inbound. The reviews of these look fantastic. It does have the shoulder buttons. It does have a standard like Xbox box sort of style keypad with our analog and yeah I think that'll work should do the trick screwdriver for doing some Apple products just a nice anodized aluminum screwdriver for iPhones and MacBooks and stuff next up I think I saw these on the Def Bomb channel uh, it's so long since I've seen one, I totally forgot they even existed. A scratch brush. These are a fiberglass brush for doing contact cleaning. Now, the fiberglass is pretty abrasive, but not terribly abrasive. It's kind of a middle ground. I used to actually use these in the automotive industry for cleaning up pins, especially in the engine compartment. The old W bodies used to have the ECU in the engine compartment. It used to get corroded all the heck, so we'd always have to do all kinds of pin cleaning. And this actually worked not bad because it is a bristled brush, so we'll give it a try. Can't have too many precision screwdriver sets. I have lots. This is the King's done. <laughs> no idea. Very strange. Comes in a nice case. I really like the case actually very much. I like them being organized, but this has everything from the penelobes to the uh, just standard slot Phillips. But nice. I think it's supposed to call it. Does Kingston make precision screwdrivers? That looks an awful lot like the Kingston logo, but yeah, just nice, good rubberized feel to them. Cheap and handy to have. I needed one in my bag that I take with me uh, when I'm working off-site, so I've got one. That is it for today's mailbag. If you like these videos, if you like what I'm doing, click a thumbs up on this channel. You will see full reviews of some of this stuff coming up. I uh, can't wait to get back with you guys soon. Talk to you next video. Cheers!